nah bro, I've lived the casual f lifestyle and it sucks compared to the spiritual intimacy of sharing your body with someone you love. They're incompatible. Well, raining trees, do you think that your preferences here might be, like, specific to you? I, I do despise the arrogance of people who, uh, who, because they only want to f their soulmate or whatever, think that means it's best for everyone. I, like, I, personally, I think that, like, non-monogamy is the default state of humans and our adherence to monogamy is socially destructive. But I'm still okay with you mother doing what makes you happy then people saddling around and being like um actually no i've experienced true love and you have no idea the power that it i do think my preferences are specific to me okay it just sounded like you're you know you sound extreme when you say monogamy is socially destructive well guess i'm an extremist then what's bad about monogamy i've talked about this before monogamy doesn't seem like it was the default state of humans there's nothing it doesn't seem like that's something inherent to the way we behave uh, monogamy seems like, anthropologically, in many cases, it was introduced of a way of enforcing power hierarchies. See, if you fuck whoever you want and just raise, like, villages of children together, like, collectively, it becomes really difficult to tell who is the child of who. Imagine you're a village chieftain who owns a lot of cool stuff. Who does it go to? Right? Like, who does that go to? It's kind of difficult to say if your goal is to pass it down through your own bloodline, because... You know, the girl you fucked who gave birth also fucked other guys. You have no fucking idea. So monogamy was a way of socially reinforcing a way of maintaining a clear, distinct heritage uh, uh, along which many lines of power um, and possession were drawn. Now, of course, this is not a perfect explanation for all forms of monogamy in all cultures, but it seems to be a pretty common trend. People fucked around a little more. That's an appeal to, na to nature, though. Hold on. Multi-part argument here, okay? When we're talking about, like, what people should do um, with regards to sex or relationships, I think that it's not necessarily fallacious to talk about what human beings seem designed to do. Especially since a lot of people's arguments in favor of monogamy is the idea that that's the way you create a child. But that is absolutely not the case. You create a child by fucking. Anyone can fuck. Monogamy has nothing to do with it. We raise children in monogamous relationships now, but that's a social construct that is not that old. We used to raise them communally. So I don't think that there's a natural argument in favor of monogamy. Instead, monogamy serves to enforce social alienation. It makes people disincentivized to participate in their community um, because they're locked off in these isolated, atomized social units that are beneficial economically, but not so much socially. This is one of the reasons why the Black Panther Party was anti-monogamy. They politically prescribed the virtue of um, not like locking down marriages. Can you direct me to any reading on this? You know what? I'm just going to be a little bit more clear, okay? A lot of people's interest in monogamy is insecurity. There, I said it, okay? If you have a girlfriend and you don't mind her hanging out with male friends, but you do mind them, uh, uh, her fucking those friends, that is a completely arbitrary standard that you've set up, and ver vice versa. If she has a problem with you fucking other chicks, uh, but doesn't have a problem with you talking with them, that's completely arbitrary. 100% arbitrary. And the reason I don't like non-monogamy is because I'm tired of insecurity being the defining trait in how people control their partner's lives, okay? I think that shit is cringe. If that's your personal preference, then live your truth. But I'm going to be over here continuing to argue in favor of the idea that all we do through monogamy is socially normalize, like, possessiveness and insecurity with our partners, okay? If that's your thing, then go for it. It's not like there aren't elements of my behavior that are motivated by socially normalized and totally arbitrary bits of insecurity. Because there absolutely are. But I maintain that belief. You're literally saying, though, that's their own, only their preference because they're insecure and emotionally damaged the male? Nope, I never said that. Guys, did at any point I say the only reason a person could be monogamous is because they're insecure and emotionally damaged? Or did I just say it's a social construct that normalizes insecurity? I said the latter. Please don't essentialize my arguments. You should do what makes you happy. Yes, I think a lot of it is driven by insecurity. I don't think I said mental damage, but I think monogamy normalizes a lot of insecure tendencies. And, like, don't pretend that it doesn't, okay? It's very obviously an arbitrary distinction that's, like, uh, created by moralistic assumptions as to what sex should be reserved for. It's a lot of it ties back into, like, patriarchal, like, heritage standards and, like, Christianity and, like, moralism that we generally try to do away with, but we've internalized this one so extensively that it's really difficult for people to, like, move past it. Many people are going to be like that their whole lives. And you know what? Like I said, go for it. Do whatever you want, okay? I don't care. Do what makes you happy. Oh. All social boundaries are arbitrary. Yeah, so it's just odd to me that, like, you could use that to justify anything. It's just odd to me that a massive social boundary in our society that everyone talks about and everyone reinforces passively and directly through moralization 
is the idea that you can do everything with a person when you're in a relationship except have sex with them. Is that you're in a relationship and that's reserved for the relationship, even though it makes no fucking sense, you know? You messed that sentence up? What did I miss? What did I miss uh, speak on? I mean, that insecurity is coded into humans too. Okay, yeah, so should we sh socially normalize the idea that it's unacceptable for your, like, partner to speak with another man? Because if we're just going to, if we're just going to say, oh, well, people feel insecure, therefore we should socially normalize it through institutions, then, like, well, why not do that, right? I have felt insecure before when friends of mine, like, hung out with other people and I felt like I wasn't being included. Should we, like, make that non-normalized? Maybe everyone should just have, like, one friend? Like, you could, you could do that for anything. Okay, bro, this is some weird shit. Nice non-argument. Again, this is one, this is about the sociological imagination. This is something some people have so ingrained in their minds that they literally can't fathom outside of it. They'll think that I'm saying that it's morally wrong to be monogamous, or that I'm saying, uh... Or that I'm saying that they have to go cheat on their partners, or that, like, I, it's just incomprehensible. I think you're right, but I'd still rather just have a single partner. That's fine. I keep saying, do whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. I don't know why. That's fine. You are heavily implying that monogamous people have something wrong with them. Nope. All people suffer from insecurity from time to time. I just think that socially normalizing an incredibly moralized standard that indicates that it's right to have that insecurity, and not, what's more, there should be, like, a literal, like, enforced social norm about preserving that insecurity at the expense of people's lived experiences is the cringe part. Keep in mind, you- I'm the victim here, okay? Monogamous people are literally the hegemonic, like, moral majority, like, everywhere in the developed world, okay? Don't act like you're being attacked here. Non-monogamous people are the ones who are attacked, legally and socially. You guys have everything behind you, and you're getting offended because I'm saying that, like, hey, maybe we could just not normalize it and highly moralize it, you know? Jesus Christ. It's just the, st the standard that I'm talking about, Western. If you want to be monogamous or non-monogamous, that's fine. I just think that the fact that monogamy is considered the default and non-monogamy is considered the aberrant social de deviation is the weird part. That's not at all what you were saying really? earlier. What? Chat, is there a single quote that I have provided at any point during this discussion? That is, that is not in alignment with what I'm saying right now. This is exactly what I said. At one point you said monogamous are all doo-doo heads that should die. True. So true. Nope, I'm out not touching this one with a 20-foot pole. Dude, you guys are so fucking weird. Holy shit. It's so obvious how blinded you are by your moral preconceptions. Just like, the, the, the way you guys are treating this is literally like the way some people treat like neo-pronouns or like non-binary people or any other thing that becomes like a little bit intuitively. You know what? Guys, I also think that the gender binary is a uh, arbitrary and destructive social construct. You gonna get mad at me for that one? That's an opinion that I have as well. That's also a thing people clearly care about quite a bit. You came out against the idea of monogamy, um, not just the enforcement of it as a social construct. Yeah, um, no, I'm pretty sure I was specific about, like, the fact that I think that a lot of monogamy is the product of insecurity, which is absolutely the case. And, um, like, by definition, basically. And, um, but it's like the social normalization of those trends that bother the, me the most. But I'm also a gender abolitionist, aren't I? Yeah, but you haven't said that people who ascribe to the gender binary do so because they're insecure. Have you heard me talk about the gender standards that men and women perform? Wait, have you not heard me talk about toxic masculinity and toxic femininity? Have you not literally heard me go on long screeds about how, like, hu like huge masses of men and women participate in the enforcement of their gender and their gender roles specifically because they're desperately trying to cling to an arbitrary concept that limits our ability to initiate and, like, enact our fucking will? This is, like, this is literally the same... Uh, never mind, chat. Even if monogamy is just about insecurity, so what? Do what you want. I just don't think it should be, like, the social default. Chat is so bad at understanding Vosh's lukewarm takes. It really triggers me, because I feel like I'm never understood for anything that I say, even though I feel like nothing that I've said here is that arguable, anthropologically. Or sociologically. Vosh, this is hella cringe. There should be no standard, because why is it anyone's business anyway? Unless we legalize fucking the streets, should be not concerned. If you think there should be no standard, then you agree with me. I don't know what, what you're upset with me over. Alien alias, it is true that monogamous people are insecure, by definition. That's the only reason monogamous people do or believe the things they are. That insecurity is normalized socially, and then they uh, project it onto their relationships. But insecurity is a part of life, okay? That is a fact. I'm sorry if that triggers you, okay? That is the reason why you are monogamous. It is because for some reason, because you've watched a lot of media that's told you, or maybe you just have a inclination towards this, uh, you think that you're entitled to sexual exclusivity from your partners, okay? 
I'm not saying you have to, like, change that now, because these are social norms that have been ingrained to you since life, but just be honest and admit it. Guys, I am a... Guys, th I am literally applicable here. I am a gender abolitionist and a man. The reason why I don't abolish my own gender is because I am still limited by the social preconceptions that I have arbitrarily adopted. You understand? Right? This is like the most basic sociology class ever in chat's ring like crazy. Yeah, well. What about fear of STDs from partners? Partners? That's fine, but that's not really what we're talking about. People don't ha- People, like, let's be like, people aren't monogamous for STD fear, okay? People are monogamous because they feel like uh, sexual relationships should be exclusive, you know? That's- like, that's definitely not why people are those things. Is being straight a product of homophobia? Holy shit. Chat. Chat, please. A lot of straight people's unwillingness to fool around with their the same gender people is a product of the social maligning of bisexuality. This is one of the reasons why women tend to be more comfortable with bisexuality than men. It's because it's more socially normalized and accepted for women to fool around with other women than men to fool around with other men. So yes, while that doesn't mean every single person who is straight now would have been like bi in a perfect society, it does mean that many people might have had much more neutral inclinations yes. were it not for the fact that they've spent their entire life saturated in a system that encourages them uh, to, to only explore an element of their identity. What's wrong with wanting sexual exclusivity? Oh my god, Rob Dog! I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it is an arbitrary product of, exclu of exclusivity that comes from insecurity, okay? There are tons of things that we do in our friend groups that are driven by insecurity, okay? When you want to spend some more time with a friend because you feel like you're not spending as much time with them, that is driven by insecurity. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means it's driven by insecurity. My issue with this is very clearly the fact that monogamy is considered the social default and anyone who deviates from it is considered aberrant. Whereas in reality, non-monogamy seems to be both positionally, like epistemically uh, and fucking historically the default. People who are monogamous should be the ones putting that shit on their profiles. And which is more common, by the way, in Seattle, okay? I actually see that. People will specifically say they're monogamous. Great! Do it! Normalize admitting that, okay? Shampoo. They don't, they don't have... Insecurity is literally not a feeling that, like, animals feel in the way that we feel. I don't think that's applicable. Animals behave in ways that their evolution guides them to because it maximizes the potential chance of their offspring. When we, humans, were acting in more naturely ways, we were non-monogamous. So in that case, we were fucking around. So polyamory should be the default? Um... No, just, just assume... I, my opinion is that the, the best and most neutral way of going about this would be to assume non-exclusivity, but if a person wants exclusivity, then that's fine and you should respect that. And people who want exclusivity should be respectful towards each other and find each other and do weird monogamous stuff like holding hands or whatever, okay? Do you honestly think insecurity isn't a bad thing? It can be, but it's also an inherent part of human behavior. Like, fear can be a bad thing, but I don't think the, the the concept of a person feeling fearful is, like, a morally wrong explanation for some elements of human behavior. Hello. Is this really so difficult? You guys are infuriating. I hope you know that. Are you implying that fear is insecurity? I'm implying you're getting banned for 30 days. I, I can't. I'm sorry. So stop framing it like monogamous people have something wrong with them. All right, you too, Mortimir. I've been extremely clear. You're being insecure right now, funnily enough. St uh, typical uh, monogamies over here. 30 days. It's like, it's funny. My, my thing is like, you guys are acting on insecurity and you're like, no, we're, no, we're not. No, we're not. Do, how dare you say that about us? Like, like, well, damn, really carrying the torch there, huh? Please chill. I've been very clear in my position. Okay. If you don't like it, don't make it my problem. Has a monogamy been a historical difficult post civilization? Yes. In tribal humanity, in tribal humanity. No, I talked about that at the beginning. I cannot believe how stupid this chat is about us. Because you motherfuckers LARP as progressives until progressivism or the idea of challenging social norms suddenly overlaps with the norm that you like. I fucking hate it when people like you act like that. It's so fucking frustrating. Progressivism isn't just about being pro-gay or whatever the fuck else, okay? It's about a fundamental, unconditional willingness to challenge social norms, or at the very least to be understanding of the ways in which those social norms are formed and the influences those can have socially, okay? 
That's progressivism. Because if you're just progressive because you're like pro-gay or pro-trans or whatever, you're gonna be the next reactionary. You can't, it's not enough to just be pro whatever social shit people are for these days, okay? You need to have a general awareness of, of how all these like reactionary takes are, are beget by the normalization of social values, okay? I think I can still be progressive and not be an advocate for non-monogamy. I'm not asking you to be an advocate for non-monogamy. I am asking you to acknowledge that monogamy is an arbitrary social standard born today of insecurity in the feelings of your partner's sexual exclusivity. Okay? That is a fact. I'm sorry. There's nothing direct or biological or natural or necessary about that arbitrariety. And, hey guys, have you seen how monogamous people act about being cheated on? Like, have you seen how they act about all this stuff? It's not just the betrayal of being cheated on that bothers them, because cheating on non-monogamous people is still super fucked up. There's very clearly a sense of insecure and wounded entitlement. It, because this happens outside of cheating, too. Monogamous people have got- I've seen monogamous people get upset that their partners have had partners before them. What the fuck is that? That's, like, common. Guys get offended or insecure if their girl has had, like, a couple of partners beforehand. That isn't even- that's- that shit is so fucking cringe. Congratulations. That's monogamy normalized. An irrational obsession with and entitlement to sexual exclusivity from your partners. That doesn't mean every monogamous person is like that, but that sure is shit overlaps, okay? So yeah, there. That's the worst element of it. Now that you've recognized the worst element of that behavior, recognize the core from which it is derived, and accept it. Okay? At Vosh, Oxy- uh... Oxytocin is released in the body during intercourse, a hormone which is linked to positive social functioning and is associated with bonding, trust, and loyalty. Isn't the fact that we become biologically more attached to people we fuck in our for monogamy? No. You become biologically more attached to people you have a good day bowling with. There are hormones that release that bond us to people when we interact with them in any way, shape, or form. Sex is a way of interacting with people. Obviously, it would procure bonding. Also, nothing about bonding, trust, and loyalty has anything to do with exclusivity. That's not even remotely associated with each other. Do you just bond with one person in your entire life? So people should bowl more often? Sure. It can be to some people. <sighs> well, it's a good thing I said that it's okay if you want to be monogamous then. This seems weirdly validating to anti-monogamy perspectives, lol. Yeah, like, what if I just fuck two people? Wouldn't I just bond to two people then? Sweet. Remember that time when monogamy was based in completely made-up standards, but everyone acted like it was the default state and you had to remind them it's not? Yeah, there are people in chat still doing that, yeah. Don't polyamorous relationships require even more trust communication? I'm not talking about polygamous relationships or polyamory or whatever else. I'm just talking about non-monogamy, sexual exclusivity. Even the concept of a relationship in a modern sense is, again, modern. Do you think that, like, people 10,000 years ago had boyfriends and girlfriends? Probably not. They probably had loose and fairly ambiguous, like, chains of social connections that were, like, friendship in the modern sense, but, like, the idea of, like, you two are in a relationship is probably not something we're biologically conditioned to do or to believe in. That's probably something that we've sort of standardized socially with time, you know? Liz squared, I'm not even saying I'm anti-monogamy, I'm just saying I'm anti-monogamy as a default, and that monogamy is born of insecurity, like a lot of other human behavior that I and everyone else here engages in. Does this mean we engage in praxis during threesomes? Yes. Congratulations. Implying there's anything like, uh, such as a default state is essentialist thinking, Vosh, polyamory, and monogamy are both arbitrary? N no. N no. Sexual exclusivity is arbitrary. Sexual non-exclusivity is not arbitrary. Your a restriction and the absence of restriction are not equally arbitrary, okay? Being able to do whatever you want is apparently the default state. Saying, oh, actually, you can't do this one thing is the arbitrary deviation from that state of being that you have to justify. They're not equally arbitrary. Married couples with children should be... All right, you're right. You're right. Only bands will break this stun lock. You guys are dumb as shit. It's unbelievable how unintrospective you are. You can literally fucking be monogamous if you want. At no point have I said you can. I think said it like 20 fucking times. I've said it like 30 fucking times. But does anyone listen to me when these takes get any hotter than trans women or women? No. You stupid pseudo-progressive dumb fucks are completely unwilling to analyze anything about your own behavior outside of the very basic social tenets that you've normalized by being part of progressive communities, okay? I, I, I hate, I hate you guys. I hate you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so desperate to justify not admitting that it's born of insecurity. There's tons of shit that we do that's born of insecurity, okay? There's tons, tons of elements of social interaction are born of insecurity. 
It's fine. Just acknowledge it. Just say, yes, this is something that I feel insecure about, and I want to organize my relationships around that. And that is a totally valid perspective. 100% valid. So fucking valid. Equally valid to what I want, okay? Just acknowledge that it's that, okay? That is what it is born of, all right? That is the thing that br brings it about, okay? Just admit that. Jesus, quit pretending that monogamy in society is driven by some sort of inherent human behavior or some sort of ulterior motivation that isn't just, I feel unnaturally entitled to the sexual exclusivity of my partner, okay? Just admit that. It's fine. I feel entitled to stuff. I feel entitled to stuff. You know that? If I had a girlfriend and she made me breakfast, I would love that. But if she then made breakfast for another person in the same way when they sleep over to like hang out and play like video games and like, but not me, that would be, I would feel insecure about that. And it would make me feel bad. And I might even talk to her about that. But I think that would be okay because it's something that I associate with her and me and to, for her to do it to somebody else feels a little bit weird. Okay. You get it? But I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's wrong of me to feel that way. I just think that human interactions are complicated. You made it seem like all monogamous people are insecure. I think, no, I think I said um, most or most all or like a good majority of, and I stand by that. Maybe some of you were just hit on with rocks in your head. No, if anyone's making m monogamous people seem insecure, it's chat right now, okay? Do you think all monogamous people are insecure? What, literally? Just, here, here, wait, leftist killbot. We're ending it right now. Let me just ask you, leftist killbot asks, do you think all monogamous people are insecure? Like, couldn't a person be secure in their monogamy? Why don't you feel comfortable with your partner fucking other people? Answer the question, leftist killbot. I'm, oh, I've only of you highlighted in chat. I'm not looking at anyone else. It's just you, okay? It's just you right now. I'm looking at you, okay? Why? Why, 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 do you, what is leading you to place this restriction? Why? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe think about it, leftist killbot. Because there's one answer. And it's jealousy. You'd be jealous. You think it's something that should be reserved for you. And if that's how you feel, that's fine. It, it, that's fine. There's more than one answer. That's like the majority of the answer. At Vosh, burden of proof. For me? All right. We're getting you too, buddy. Jealousy is sometimes a good thing. That's crazy, dog. Good thing at no point during this have I said that jealousy is a ubiquitously bad thing. Or insecurity is a ubiquitously bad thing. These are feelings that people have that moderate their social interactions. I don't think this element of insecurity is justified enough to warrant a social norm. But if you want to do that, that's fine. Doesn't jealousy stem from insecurity? Yes. I mean, I, I guess that's the big connection there, right? Would it be more accurate to say it's a social expectation more than insecurity? The social ex expectation of entitlement to the other's sexual exclusivity is a form of insecurity. Like how go guys, hey! You know how it's a social standard that a lot of guys are raised into saying, like they believe they're entitled to the attention of the girls? You know that standard? You see? It's like that at the end of the video game, you get the girl type of trope. Guys think they're entitled to like the affection or the attention of a woman, right? So social norms, instill in them a feeling that leads them to be insecure, right? And that insecurity is a product of the entitlement that they feel, right? We've all said this before. Now, does that mean that you personally are a bad person if you feel insecure because you haven't gotten a girlfriend when you think that you should have? No, that's a human behavior. Humans feel that. But you should recognize the element of insecurity to that and where it came from. If anyone at this point can't follow the point that I have made, I'm sorry. I can't make it any more than this. For me, it's about the other person breaking an agreement we've made. It's not about jealousy. It's about dishonesty. I don't think it's acceptable to cheat on non-monogamous people. But then why do you have that agreement, Comrade Robin Hood? Why would you make that agreement? Bosh, I mostly agree with your take. Do you think there's any way to make monogamy a thing without the insecurity component? Quick question, guys. Is there any way for a guy to think that the girls that he dates shouldn't talk to other men? Not an insecurity thing. 
Could you ever imagine, like, in, realistically, any situation in which a guy is like, yeah, I don't think my girlfriend should be able to talk to other men. Okay, yeah, it's about what we normalize, then. It's about what we fucking normalize, okay? Stop getting mad at me when you're capable of applying this analysis to everything adjacent to this one issue, okay? Because I only want to be in a relationship with one person. Comrade Robin Hood, it's not about you being in a relationship with one person. It's about whether or not they can have sex with other people. Why would you place that standard on them, that expectation? Nightmind, the normal, the social norm instills in people a sense of entitlement and insecurity. I feel like I'm, th I'm, I'm like three questions away from any person here angry with me for them admitting that it's an insecurity thing. Like every single time, you know? Bill Sykes, that it is insecurity. That is the word for it. Okay. I ate sand today. Most intelligent VGG. -er. You guys are killing me, man. Oh, God. Comrade Robin Hood, you're taking way the fuck too long to respond. I don't care anymore. You place the burden of expectation because you think you're entitled to the sexual behavior of your partner. Fine, do it. Have fun. I don't care. Let me pee. I haven't banned that many people in a while. Bosch is completely right in this one. Chat's been consistently showing their insecure babies who have never meaningfully thought about the ways uh, uh, the ways in which they feel. Yeah, it's about the sociological imagination, guys. It's about being able to understand these systems. I... Bosch says cheating is okay. Please don't... Please don't spread that take. Holy shit. Please don't spread that take. Cheating isn't wrong because... Oh god, that's gonna be clipped. Cheating is not bad because the idea of having sex outside of a committed relationship is bad. Cheating is bad because you've, you've broken an expectation. <laughs> that's gonna be clipped right there. How would we promote non-monogamy as a standard position? I don't know. It's I don't think it's something you have to like crazy like ham out for or anything. I'm not asking you guys to go out there and be like huge political advocates for the concept of fucking multiple people. I, I, I'm just saying that I think we should be introspective about where our biases and preferences come from. And I think that's a reasonable ask given the types of stuff we talk about here. You said earlier it was definitionally insecure to not want your partner to sleep with others, but what part of insecure's definition points to what you're saying? My dude, I'm just gonna ask you to think in it, okay? Just, just look within. Greetings. Just look, just look within, okay? I'm curious as to your personal definition of insecurity in this case. Okay, guys, real quick, what do we call it when a guy doesn't want his girlfriend talking with other men? Chat, based Pepe, yeah. Gu guys, use the term that I'm clearly trying to bait you into using here. Please work with me here. I'm gonna do the whole bit, but only if you work with me. Insecure, okay? What do we call a guy who doesn't want his girlfriend having friends outside the relationship? What do we call a guy who doesn't want his girlfriend interacting with male co-workers on the job? What do we call a guy who doesn't want his girlfriend going to social functions out with other girlfriends uh, because, um, because the bars get rowdy at night with guys? And he doesn't want her, like, seeing any of them or whatever. Okay, now what do we call a guy who doesn't think that his uh, girlfriend should be able to have sex with other people? We call it monogamous. That's my point. That's my point. That's my point. Not the same. Cope. Giga cope. Not the same. Giga cope. Okay? Literally the fucking same. The only reason you think it's different is because you think sex is special. And congratulations on internalizing your Christian morality. Okay? If you think that sex is like crazy fucking special, but spending a night out with friends isn't, then I've got a lot. I've got a. I've got a lot to tell you about how humans bond. Okay, I've got a lot to tell you about how human beings interact with each other and form relationships. Okay, if your real concern is about maintaining the like exclusivity and any kind of like bonding, then I'm real sorry, but you you can't stop at denying your girl the ability to go fuck other guys. Okay, you're gonna need to keep her from leaving the house. Okay, but sometimes your partner thinks sex is special too. They might place more emotional weight on that, no? In circuses, then they also share that insecurity. Is that not just preference though? Everything that I just described is preference. Guys, this is literally the Patrick Wallet meme. I don't know, I can't do this. I'm gonna Roblox myself. I literally, like, we went through all of that and you guys are like, no, no, it's different, dude. It's different. This is literally the Patrick fucking Wallet meme. I'm done with this topic. I'm not saying another word. Deal with it yourselves, guys, okay? If you want to be unintrospective and delude yourself into believing that you're adhering to some kind of higher moral virtue by engaging in just what is the most socially normalized of plenty of other clingy and desperate and possessive behaviors, then fucking go for it. I think you have a right to engage in that stuff if you find a person who also wants to do it. Holy shit, but still. Jesus Christ, it's so fucking cringe. You guys are in a lefty fucking sociology major's chat, and you're like, this is like grinding against my brain right now. Holy fuck. What's up? This is not a good time to interrupt right now. 
We have some people being very unintrospective about the nature of non-monogamy and monogamy. Find someone clingy if you're clingy. It's fine. It's Find someone clingy if you're clingy. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. No, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love being clingy. Yeah. Obsessive. There. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Stop torturing yourself with somebody who can want what you want. This is that's not the perspective we're coming at this from. But yes, I agree. Yeah, I know. All right, now stop. You're you're interrupting a stunlock. Vosh, you just said that. Abusing your partner by not letting them outside is the same as being sad about them cheating and you wonder why Chad is mad. Alright, you're getting banned too. Sorry, comrade Robin Hood. Robin Hood is down, folks. The wealth belongs once more to the aristocracy. Campagno, I'm not monogamous, but I still think sex is special. You know what I think is really special? Spending a long evening out with somebody and having a really good time and then watching the sunset, okay? I think that shit is real fucking special. And I am not monogamous. We exist. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with what we're talking about. But I agree. Please stop. Chat, you ple please, you have to stop. I'm sorry. As is the case with all other drama, the only way out of this is simply to lay down and accept the fact that I'm objectively right in anything that I say. All the time. Everywhere. There's no other way out. You just have to lay down and accept it. Can you explain how non-monogamous relationships work? Non-monogamous relationships just mean... That in addition to being able to do everything with everybody else except sex, you can also do the sex. That's it. That's the only difference. Non-monogamous relationships are 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 extremely uncomplicated. They're objectively less complicated than monogamous relationships because one boundary no longer exists. That's it. Simple as that. What you're thinking of right now is polyamorous relationships, which is not the same thing. Polyamory is having multiple romantic partners at the same time. And I am not in a polyamorous relationship, nor have I ever been. Nor, frankly, do I think I ever want to be. Then why have relationships just fuck people? Kwazuli. Is to you the only benefit of a romantic relationship the ability to have sex? Is that the only thing you're getting out of a relationship? Do you have a partner right now who knows that the only reason you're bothering to be a partner to them is because it gives you the ability to have sex with them? Jesus. You confuse polygamy and polygamy. No, polygamy is like multiple marriages, right? Multiple wives or husbands or whatever. Why don't you want to be in a trouble, misogynist? I just don't have the energy. Especially with queers. You have any idea how fucking emotionally engaged I'd have to be? God, I can barely handle one relationship at a time. Is there a way to address that scare? I don't know. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I love you. Do whatever you want. What about hookups instead of sex? But we just cuddle some ace? Good. Ha do it. Whatever. What makes platonic attraction different from romantic attraction? I don't know. That probably depends based on the people. I don't care. Avosh, the fact that you don't associate sex with love is quite uh, quite rare. First of all, I don't I don't necessarily know how true that is. I feel like a lot of people socially associate sex and love in a lot of ways, but a lot of people recognize that they're not intrinsically connected. Like, come on. How many people in their lives, even like older people, like boomers or whatever, have wanted to fuck someone without, like, being in love with them. Like, even if it was just a celebrity crush. I'm pretty sure most people would recognize that even if sex tends to be something they do with people who they love, they, they can conceptualize the idea of enjoying sex, even if it's outside of romantic relationship. Depends on how good the sex is. Yeah, well, you know. Is this because the influence the church had in Western culture over the last thousand years? I don't fucking know. Maybe. YouTube chat is molding right now? Yeah, it's because they're fucking baby-brained. Sorry. Stay mad. Cope forever. I don't give a fuck, okay? Your inability to engage in basic introspection is not my moral problem, alright? I did it. I tried. It is you who is coping. Most people feel differently from you. Don't think I won't ban you either. I, j I think most people can conceptualize the distinction between love and sex, at the very least. Like, they can, they can understand that they're not the same thing. That sex is not something just done to people that you love. It's also, like, a fun thing that you might want to do because you find somewhat hot. Yeah, like, plenty of people have had one-night stands. I don't fucking know. Your opinion is the basis of ace people being able to have fulfilling relationships? Well, don't- don't- don't mind ace people, okay? Chat is on a rampage right now, trying to prove how all their preferences are completely normal and have nothing to do with social biases whatsoever. Imagine being ace-phobic in chat and weird champing right now. Just popped in if you talked about how many monogamous people cheat in their partners. Yeah. Oh, Tempest, what a- what an excellent way to break this stun lock by talking about the fact that you so-called principled monogamous fucks are constantly cheating on each other because you're so desperate for a social norm that allows you more freedom with who you get to fuck. No, that would that would definitely fix the, the problems with this stream right now. No, 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 no. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We're fine, we're fine. Any thoughts on one-sided non-monogamy? 
I don't know. I have no fucking idea, Vermin. I don't think what I don't like one-sided non-monogamy. That shit always seems to be super fucking imbalanced. There's a big meme about that where it's like the girl is like, I want non-monogamy. We can both do it, right? And the guy is like, no, okay, you have your fun. And then the girl go gets like fucking absolutely made airtight by like fucking big meaty chads. And then um and then the guy gets like nothing. I don't know. That shit can be pretty weird, I think. Some people just don't want to bother. I think overwhelmingly those arrangements are the person who's remaining monogamous or just desperate to stay with a partner who they hope will be satiated by non-monogamy, but usually isn't. That, I think, can be pretty bad. Being non-monogamous doesn't mean that you have a right to be, like, fucked up to monogamous people or whatever. Like, that doesn't give you a right to be, like, in invalidating or, or disrespectful or, like, to, to abuse or exploit their biases or anything like that. Jordan H. says, I think a lot of monogamous people can learn how to have better relationships with less jealousy by considering these things. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Yeah, I, I think that's true. Even if you want to be monogamous and are monogamous, I think at least being aware of these feelings can mitigate the more pernicious elements of, of like, jealousy or entitlement in your relationship, you know? Or we could just delusionally shit, like, shit talk me and, and pretend that there's absolutely nothing, like, socially conditioned about monogamy. And that nothing, it has, like, nothing to do with jealousy or whatever. I'm sorry, society's imprinted a specific connotation of emotional connection with society. Uh, well, I mean, I hate that, but whatever. I think that's dumb. People, like, associating sex with love has definitely, like, I think made things more complicated for me and for a lot of other people. But monogamous people would disagree, so I don't know. It's not a conscious decision. Never said it was. Vosh, what's a healthy emotional response to cheating? Are you asking me, like... I think you can, like, end a relationship over cheating for sure. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what you mean. I mean, you shouldn't, like, freak out and, like, kill them or whatever. But, like, yeah, you can... Why they're just being insecure, mate. Should we... Are... How many people do we have to ban today? That's not about being insecure, okay? That's about having standards in a relationship, or having boundaries or expectations and having them broken. There's a difference between the arbitrarity and harm of a boundary, and the harm of it being broken. Those are not the same thing. They're absolutely not the same thing, okay? If you're mad at me, okay, just like jerk off super hard tonight and take it somewhere else, okay? Vent your frustrations on your fleshlight fucking body pillow combo, okay? Do not, do not get angry at me for pointing something out that you don't like. Right? Holy shit, this poison lasts forever! Anyway, yeah, you can get super mad. Don't, like, kill anyone, but... Well, carbonated peach milk, I think you could associate love with a lot of interpersonal interactions, then. Vosh literally said you could be cheated on as a poly. Yeah, of course. Cheating is bad. But it's not- it's not bad because there's something metaphysically wrong with having sex with multiple people. It's bad because you violated the boundaries of that relationship. Even in polyamorous relationships, you do know that people, like, get approval from one another before having sex with other people. There are a lot of concerns associated with sex that, like, should be taken into account, you know? So getting cheated on is still insecurity? Nope, and also banned. Permanently. But yeah, even in, like, non-monogamous relationships, you know that people, like, check in with, like, they're like, hey, you know, I'm seeing this person, like, we might have said, like, how do you feel about that, you know? And depending on the relationship that you have, or how, like, stringent you are with these expectations, sometimes, okay. like, they try to mutually meet the person, like, it'll be like, oh, I'm okay with you fucking this person, but, like, could I, like, see them first, or could we, like, go to the park together or something? Um, and sometimes it's just like, oh, you know, have you made sure that they've gotten, like, their STI test or something, or whatever. There's, um, there are, a uh, few ways, a few ways to handle that. Bill Sykes, I'm sorry, it's just the, I, 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 the insecurity bullet is the bullet. It's the real bullet. I just, I don't know what to say. That doesn't mean that you're doing it's something locked. uniquely bad or wrong. That's just how it is. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I've already made my argument. Socially conditioned insecurity. What are other strong emotions that can be conflated with love? I can't think of anything seriously. You're jumping the shark a little bit there. You didn't say strong emotions conflated with love. You said that sex is an experience which releases hormones that affect bonding. But sex is not the only experience that can do that. There are lots of things that could potentially do that. Being together in really hard situations, like really difficult and adverse situations experienced together, you know? Like, like potentially fighting other people, like through competition and sport. That can be like an incredibly strong bond that people form. People literally talk about like the bond of brothers or whatever between like, you know, soldiers. There's like having a really good evening out with somebody or like getting drunk with somebody and like go driving around town or something. These are all experiences that can be not just like really fulfilling, but can literally chemically bond you to people. But we call those things friendship bonding and the sex thing romance bonding. But what we understand to be romance is fairly socially conditioned, you know? Um, 
So what we're really talking about is which types of bonding we socially normalize to be associated with love and which one's less so, you know? Now, there's going to be some varying extent to which these affect. I'm not saying that sex isn't, like, a big component of, like, relationship format, because it totally can be. But the fact remains that delineating the line right there is fairly arbitrary. I mean, again, like, if, if sex was the only thing that could do this, then there would be no asexual relationships, but there definitely are, so... Pigeon, stop knocking that thing over! I think so peop So many people get really emo emotional over this issue because they hate the idea of their partner suddenly becoming non anonymous or poly or something. Yeah, that sounds like insecurity to me, but I agree. I think a lot of people are defensive over this because they don't want their partner to become, like, non monogamous on them. Which, hey, I'm probably not changing their mind right now. Just listen to my arguments. I'm not f fucking stealing people away from me. What if I don't want my partner to sleep around because they suck at sex? I'm afraid people will think I'm bad at sex, too. Like, I'd have to supervise it to make sure they're doing right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like you're like you're a trainer or something, you know, you're like, uh, you know, got, gotta make, hey, if my girl's fucking people, okay, she's gotta be putting on a good rep, you know, I don't want my reputation being staked on her incompetence. Credo Sal, the goal is never to change people's minds. I'm not gonna make any of you fucks non-monogamous. Though, if you're on the border of things, I'd suggest being open to it. Like, if you're kind of impartial, you don't have any strong feelings about it one way or another, I'd suggest maybe trying it, you know? Not, like, have a relationship and then go, like, sit at home jerking off while she fucks 27 other people or whatever. But, like, sleeping around a little bit can at least be a good way of understanding what you like with reference to other people. Yeah, but Hunga Master, there's no reason why you couldn't do that with multiple people, too. We're talking about monogamy, after all, right? Like, you can bond with multiple people. What if I just can't get laid? The feels. Brother. If you want a really strong argument in your favor, point out how many straight men are okay with their wives fucking other women. Oh, that's totally true. Hey, yeah, why are so many straight dudes okay with their, like, their, um, their, uh, girlfriend or wife making out with girls at the bar, but they'd get furious if it was a guy, you know? That dynamic doesn't really make much sense unless insecurity was the driving force, right? Right? They're insecure because if another man fucks their wife, that's, say, an attack on their masculine entitlement. But if a girl fucks their wife, it's not. Right? There's I'm, there's no way you can logic this not being a product of insecurity, at least in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, sure, President Sunday. It feeds into sexism and misogyny and stuff like that, for sure, and toxic masculinity. But I think all those things also tie into insecurity. A ton of toxic masculinity is about insecurity, after all. Are we doing okay? Chat, you gotta let me know if you're doing okay, okay? I'm afraid you personally will fuck your partner, yeah. Maybe uh, Jason Hickel had that, uh, had that point down, you know? Maybe the Vosh straddles up to your girl in the bar analogy was, uh, a real fear of his. Imagine the dude who allows his GF to fuck other girls thinking that she will end up coming back to him every time only have his girl stolen by another girl. That shit happens, dude. Any advice on how to start non-monogamous relationships with a potential partner? I've only been a monogamous once before. If you want to try it, just, just tell them. I don't know. You just talk with them, right? Okay, chat. I can tell a lot of you are trying to deliberately change the subject, but it's okay. It's okay. Let the new subject find us naturally. You know, let it let it let it arrive to us. Um, you know, with with minimal issue. 